Hey everybody, what is going on? I hope you guys are all doing well and welcome to another tutorial video. In this video, I'm going to be explaining to you guys how you can create a Gantt chart in Trello. So let's get right into it. Once you're logged in and on your board, what you're going to want to do first is go into power ups and click add power ups and you're going to search for the team Gantt power up which is this one. You just want to click on that and install it. As you can see, it's already installed for me. So I'm not going to do that. Now, once you install it, what you're going to need to do is log into Team Gantt or make an account if you don't have one and then authorize it to access Trello. Once you do, then you can start working with the Team Gantt implementation into Trello. And as you can see, if I go into view in Team Gantt and then go into view in Gantt chart, you will see uh, the game dev board and you see the first group of tasks which are these ones they are enemy layouts ambience and task one which doesn't have the set date yet now if i move it over here and drag it out now i can change the date like that or i could drag it backwards the first one and i'll just click yes this is only because of dependencies since as you can see that black line is a dependency uh it if i resize this one it's going to change it uh, and now it doesn't want to, but if I do it like this, it should ask to change it, but I'm not sure why it doesn't. But yeah, you can just click the dot, drag it over to another task, and it's going to change the dependency or, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, you can also change the percentage of done over here. I'm going to set, I don't know, 10% for task one. And as you can see, it fills up to 10%. And you can also set it within the task view like so. Uh, as you can see under the Team Gantt task, you can see the percentage of done, which you can show or not. You can check this off if it is 100% done. If it isn't, just enter it manually, and that should be it. And you can also change the group of it, set the start date, set the end date, everything you usually can. And that is basically all you need to do. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll be seeing you guys in another video.